Hi, this is Ferris from Gardening with Spirit and in this video I wanted to share some thoughts about energy, about how we use our energy in the garden and what energy we bring to the garden when we're gardening. Um, it's something people don't think about a lot and I know a lot of people view gardening as therapeutic so if they're stressed they will come out into the garden and gardening will just help relax them and help them feel better so after a busy day at work or maybe just to get out of the house and, and away from everybody else they'll come out to the garden and I know in times like that it's really beneficial if we can just notice our energy before we start gardening, before we start engaging with the garden. If we're head up after a long day or something, it's really worth taking a couple of minutes just to rebalance before you start in your garden activities. Because the energy we bring really does affect the garden and how it grows, especially say if we're growing vegetables, the energy of the vegetables. And I would say if you take away one thing from this at least, if you are sowing vegetables or transplanting them, you really want to make sure you're in a positive frame of mind so you bring a nurturing energy to that. But no matter what your state of mind, it's really worth spending a minute or two tuning in to the garden when you first come out especially if you are feeling a little angry or stressed or frustrated. It's worth taking even just two minutes to sit quietly in the garden space and just listen, just unwind. Like here, hearing the bird song. Maybe just looking around at the plants and just take some time to come back to centre before you engage in active garden activities. I just think doing that sort of honours nature more and honours the garden more that you can come to it with a fresh, clear energy. I know that, I know I do, I know it really helps me if I've been a bit stressed just to take a couple of minutes to sit, quietly listen and quietly observe by the time I've looked at the garden or even just looked at the clouds in the sky or the birds going by, I'm in a different energetic space, a much better one to go on and do my garden activities. And if I'm in a really negative mood, which I get negative moods, I would actually do work on that to change that energy before coming out to the garden. One of my tools is EFT tapping and I would use that so I'm in a better space. So if, if you have a really negative mood or mindset at the time, it could be worth using whatever tools you use to help you just shift your energy, maybe even distract yourself by going off and doing something else for a while before you come into the garden. That way the garden, the energy of the garden stays pure. It doesn't have to be absorbing our negative energy. So thank you very much for listening. I just wanted to share that little tip because I feel it makes such a difference. Small little things like how our energy is before we come and start our day. And I'll say one last thing. If you are overwhelmed by garden tasks, if you have a lot to do, and I still have a lot to do here this year. I've not even put the cover mulch on this path or done a lot of different things. It's worth dealing with that kind of overwhelm or frustration or whatever it is and again I use EFT tapping for that because I want to enjoy every moment I don't want to be sitting in the garden or working in the garden thinking I just have to do this next I have so many things to do I'm very overwhelmed it's not I want to enjoy my garden to the max when I'm in it so I'd encourage you to find ways to to deal with any of those issues so that you can enjoy the garden to the fullest, that you are in a good energetic space and that's what you bring to your garden. Thank you ever so much for watching. I've been Ferris and this has been Elvie. Bye-bye. <laughs>